Phoenix resale. When are you ever going to stop? When are you ever going to stop driving around the friggin' states, prancing around with your stupid little dirty SUV with goddamn oil, engine oil that you never changed in ages. You got dirty engine oil going on. You're friggin' riding around with deflated tires. You got a SUV, dirty SUV full of rats and termites, and you friggin' can't even wash the goddamn car, prick. I honestly was very tempted to blow our entire budget on this literal god of war axe they had in the case, but it was over $27, so luckily I wasn't tempted that much. When are you ever going to stop going from retro video game store to retro video game store, haggling down prices of already expensive freaking prices, which you freaking caused, you prick? How is it possible that this poindexter piece of trash goes around and always tries to find the deal and ends up getting the goddamn deals? I'm sick of it. All right, we can't even get a normal NES golf cart going for $1. We have to pay up the yin yang because this piece of trash, Phoenix Resale, with his bright green colored hoodie looking like a goddamn GameStop employee, his stupid little friggin- I technically own 14 copies of Wii Sports. Poindexter glasses, making him look like Luca from Chrono Trigger, his dumb little hat flipped background, and his stupid little friggin' flood shorts. This piece of trash goes around, haggling every freaking retro GameStop owner to freaking lower their prices on that stupid little game so then he can then take it, go to his dumb little Amazon shop store, and then raise the prices and charge you an arm and a leg to buy it. Have you seen the prices to his Amazon shop? They're absolutely ridiculous. I cannot believe it. This piece of garbage has the nerve. All right, so stuff is starting to pick up here just a bit. Got this. To go around and ruin completely destroy the retro video game community collecting hobby. It's a hobby, right? You're going around collecting games for a hobby so that you can friggin' reminisce of your childhood because we all know you can go online and download the goddamn emulators and ROMs for free, you pricks. But no, this guy wants you to think you must have a game room. So please come to the penis rear slot Amazon store and please buy my games. Oh, and this guy has the nerve now to friggin' have this stupid little app that he's releasing. All of these posters I got from uh, Nintendo Power magazines that I've picked up over the years. The One Up app. Okay, first of all, you stole the logo from Star Trek. And second of all, you think you're so clever naming it 1UP. The same, you get the idea, right? 1UP Mushroom. You get a Mario, a 1UP Life. Ooh, you're so clever. 1UP. So you're trying to make it look like the reseller who's going to friggin' buy your stupid little app is going to have a 1UP on everyone else by being ahead of the game. No, it's not happening. The prices are very limited right now. Selection of uh, Super Nintendo games right here. Uh, a lot crazy no one's gonna pay that much for that stupid little cart not anymore phoenix resale why because you went around from gamestop to from game store to game store with your dumb little pickup videos with your stupid little fish eye lens right up to your ugly face bragging that you found this game for so cheap eight game boy sps and then all you do is you then you go and then freaking increase the price on your stupid store this guy goes to conventions and all he wants to do is scan barcodes scanning barcodes left right and center it's pathetic all right when i go to a freaking retro Not the actual super nintendo it's not hooked up right now because I don't actually play video games. Game store. I'm going in there to look at the history. I'm going in there to look at the history of the games back in the day. Even the friggin' store owner knows me. And when I go in there, he's basically like, you're just browsing again, are you? I'm like, yeah, I am, obviously. And then he says to me, yeah, smart job, smart, smart thinking, because these prices are through the roof. Even for NCAA 14s and he even the retro game store owner knows the prices are ridiculous. Even he knows he wouldn't even pay that much price. But why is it that Phoenix Resale wants you to think that these prices are OK so that he releases a stupid garbage app to the friggin masses with a stupid subscription subscription rate? 
$10 for this rate, $20 for that rate a month, and then $50 for the reseller. I'm on the road shooting videos. Having an external power supply is essential. The rate a month. Ooh, if you want to be a reseller, you have to pay $50 a month to freaking use this garbage app. When meanwhile, this piece of trash, Poindexter Penis Rear Slot, has been slow and showing us for years that all you need is a barcode scanning app, a price match app, and you can, that's all you need. So why are we buying this garbage app that's dead on arrival anyways, idiot? And everything on his stupid alt account, Renix P Sale, is just playing victim. Look at the thumbnails on his Renix P Sale account. He's crying on his thumbnails, sad. We're selective with the few things that I do pick out to flip. But I think the first couple stops of the day have shown that opportunity really is still everywhere. And I'm curious to see in this phase here. Oh no, what am I going to do? Oh no, my app is this. My, uh, my app is ex increasing expenses. Oh no, retro video game stores are dying out. Oh no, the truth of really collecting and reselling. Yeah, obviously you prick, shut up. I don't need to have your stupid little crybaby thumbnails trying to tell me that the friggin' retro gaming community collecting hobby and even the reselling market is dead. We can see that, you moron, because you're the same piece of trash that friggin' endorsed WADA games. Yeah, good job, genius. You endorsed WADA games. Whose bright idea was that to take a piece of plastic, encase it in another piece of plastic, put a gaming hot take of the day? I don't think the N64 is a very good party comp. Stupid grading on top and then resell it for $746,428.36 when he can just get the same cart that's not encased in a Wada Games plastic for friggin' two bucks at the goddamn flea market. Whose idea was that to friggin' do that? No, I get it, Dennis Khan, but who endorsed it? Friggin' penis rear slot. This piece of trash endorsed Wada Games is was telling others that this whole encasing plastic plastic and plastic and grading games is the next coolest best thing. Then we find out six copies of Gale of Darkness that Dennis Khan is employing a bunch of cucked teenager incels that are freaking taking and grading reproductions. They're grading fake games, but then what did Phoenix Resell do? He stayed quiet like the little cuck that he really is. It's bad enough you have a friggin' wife who's the breadwinner and that makes the real money so you, Phoenix Riesel, can goof around prancing around from state to state in USA with your stupid little dirty SUV and your dumb little friggin' faded army green colored backpack with full of rat's nest that you take to the friggin' game conventions and then instead of actually waiting in line to the game conventions, you instead want, like a cuck, want to go to the front. Is it okay if I like turn it on and everything? Of course, of course, yeah, feel free to take it out. Appreciate it. Another the line, sweet talk to little gatekeeper and tell him that you have a stupid little VIP early access pass. They let you in and the next thing you know, you're friggin' hoarding up 14 copies of Wii Sports into your dirty little backpack. You got five copies of Super Mario Mario NES DS, and then you got friggin' seven copies of Pokemon Crystal, and then you got friggin' eight copies, eight friggin' uh, Nintendo DS's. Like, it's just ridiculous. That's what you're doing. You're going early to these conventions to hoard up games so you can stupid friggin' uh, scan your little barcodes and then brag that you got this game flipping and that that much money made. You made three million in- Looking at these prices, actually that Mario Kart is not bad, but- Sales, yet you're still crying about your stupid little expenses to your dumb little friggin' app that no one's gonna buy. Who thinks out there that they can really replicate what this piece of trash has been doing for five years? Do you see the price? prices of games and physical copies these days. You're not gonna do it. And then this piece of garbage, this little stupid little pawn shop, he has the nerve to go to a pawn shop, Phoenix Resale, and then freaking talk to the owner. The owner tells him, hey, behind this counter is $1, and rest of the shop is regular price. So then what does Phoenix Resale do? He takes an expensive game from the expensive part and then puts it- Looks like this half price books may be a strikeout. This just in, local bookstore half price books 
likes to punch behind the one dollar counter area comes back later picks up that same game then prances on over to the friggin shop owner and says look i found this for one dollar he looks he's straight in the eye and says shut up you cock i don't believe you i saw you take it from the expensive area and you put it over to the one dollar area so put that stupid game back flip your stupid hat backwards put in your your dumb little luca from chrono trigger glasses on act like a cuck with your stupid lip tarsi sandals and freaking haul your behind out the goddamn store your band you prick and then this piece of trash going out this goes on his stupid little dirty SUV makes a little damage control crybaby video crying on the internet that someone called him a liar well guess what you are a liar you're a stupid piece of trash you ruined the retro video game collecting hobby you stupid prick now eat dirt gigantic undefeatable army